everyone and thank you so much for tuning back into my channel once again please keep in mind my readings are in general may or may not resonate so take what does and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising as well as your venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe okay so you guys this is going to be your weekend read we are going to be finding out right now what the fuck to look forward to this weekend okay all right so all the way from aries to pisces let's get some energy okay all right spirit please tell me what is going on first and foremost with aries what is the energy for aries this weekend spirit energy for aries this weekend what is the energy for aries this weekend all right Spirit, please give me the energy for Aries this weekend. All right, so Aries, we have let your friends help you, okay? It says ask and accept support from others. All right, Aries, so something is going on this weekend where you're going to need help. All right, so you may be getting someone... Um, you may be getting an offer from someone who wants to come in and have a new start with you. Um, be very careful. This person is coming up as the Five of Swords, all right? They're coming up as somebody who um, plays mind games, all right? This person may be trying to do whatever they have to do to get you back, all right? Could be a fixed sign. Um, Taurus, uh, Scorpio libra as well as aries i mean Le uh not Le i mean it could be but um who the fuck else would it be leo and aquarius okay i also have cancer pisces scorpio gemini libra aquarius let's see what the card is it says stop sleeping so damn much all right some of y'all are hitting the snooze button wake up you're missing some cool shit all right, listen, this weekend you guys may be going out, having, you know, fun with your friends or whatever. And someone from, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be from your past. Someone here is going to be trying to get your attention. They're going to be wanting to invest in you. But I feel like um, maybe some shit that they're going to be kicking to you, you know, the game is going to be bullshit. All right. You may be fully aware of that. If not, your friends may know you might want to have a conversation with them about that. All right. Thank you, Aries. Taurus. We have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, okay? So, Taurus, let's see what your cards are. You have the Nine of Swords, the King of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, so here you are. I feel like you're very stressed about whether or not you should give to a situation here. Um, you don't want to be the one to either put yourself out there or put in all the work. Um, you or this person or both of you could be stressed about the lack of giving and taking here. Somebody may feel like it's one-sided, um, but I do see you wanting to still give to the situation. Let's see what card we have from the Rebel deck. You are loved, it says. You are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up. All right, so let's see. Thank you, guys. Gemini. We have children. It says your love life is being affected by children, all right? So you can literally have children, and these children can be affecting your love life, or this could be a situation where somebody is being very childish. But however way it goes, I feel like you should be very careful with this energy because I do see the energy of somebody being a bit extra or, you know, not really uh, acting their age. All right, we have the moon card, the three of cups, as well as the death card here, all right? So, yeah, we have somebody here who either is going to want to be with you or come back towards you, but they're not going to want to open up with their emotions and tell you exactly how they feel. With the death card here, you need to be very careful because I feel like this is somebody that you ended things with before. This person wants to come back again, but they may be very childish, okay? Let's see what the... Um, okay. The rebel deck says, get out your fucking head, get in your heart, it misses you, okay? So this may be something that you do have to get a little emotional about. You may not want to, but you need to, okay? <laughs> All right, so uh, Cancer, we have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy, all right? Let's see what cards we have. We have the four of cups with the justice 
and the two of swords okay so this is somebody from your past um i feel like you may have rejected this person before this person is coming to fuck back i feel like when this person comes back the second time around you may be like mm, i don't know if i should or shouldn't do it um this is the energy of somebody who still wants you okay they feel like you are the person that they're supposed to be with they feel like you are the one but you may not feel that way and i feel like this weekend you're going to be coming to some type of conclusion about whether or not you should take this second chance but spirit is telling you to release this person all right it says some good shit is about to happen don't let your issues fuck it up all right Leo, we have let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Don't force anything, Leo, this weekend. You have the nine of wands, the judgment, and the nine of pentacles, two nines. So you have your guard up towards something, but I feel like you need to decide whether or not you want to either be in a relationship or stay single. All right, I feel like somebody definitely wants to be with you or you really want to be with somebody, but somebody here is indecisive on whether or not they should let their guard down to let someone in. Let's see what we have from the rebel deck. Don't look at this again. Don't fucking force it. It says allow that allow shit to come to you. So this is not an energy where you need to be putting in the effort. This is the energy of the other person needs to show you that they want you, okay? All right, Virgo, we have pay attention to the red flags. It says the signs are cautioning you. We have the six of wands first, okay? So we're getting a bit of attention or we're feeling some victory here. All right, the will of fortune as well as the seven of pentacles. Something that you've been waiting for is going to come into fruition. All right, I feel like um, the way it may be going about or the way this person is going about it, you need to pay attention. There's something about this that... Um, may be a bit off you may be noticing that i feel like this is something that you need to pay attention to on a different spectrum because maybe this is this person um changing but maybe it's only after you might have turned your back towards it or acted as if you didn't give a fuck you may have played like you left the situation and this is why this person is coming back spirit is saying do you really want somebody who you have to play tit for tat with okay let's get one card from the rubble deck stop talking all right it says shut your mouth and listen listen to what this person's intentions are for coming towards you all right they could simply just be trying to hold on to you but not really commit or this person could only be coming in because you're planning on leaving all right libra we have it is safe for you to love okay open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all we have the hangman the magician and the queen of wands here all right so there is a situation that may have been stagnant i see you trying to push forward someone here actually wants a commitment could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius i also have gemini virgo as well as pisces somebody definitely wants to be in this relationship with you they want to try it again even though things have not been on such you know the up and up this person still feels like you guys can work together to fix this all right so let's get one card from the rebel deck Ooh, finances is looking really, really good for you guys, all right? You guys may be having some unexpected money come in, or this is you, just you working extra hard, getting that extra money, all right? It says make it rain, so don't be afraid to spend your change this weekend, Libra. You might be in a strip club. <laughs> all right, so scorpio your card is forgiving and learning okay it says as you release and heal from the past you experience more love in the present we have the two of wands the five of cups and the knight of swords hmm you have a decision to make i feel like this person let you down before but here they are again trying to um rush a situation or rush you into a situation after letting you down the first time i feel like this person still wants to be with you but um you may be a bit unsure whether or not you want to be with them after how they showed their ass the last time okay spirit is saying this is something that you need to forgive and learn from so uh, let's see what the rubble deck has to say we have time to let go. So maybe this isn't necessarily something that you should want to be with. That's why I'm saying to, you know, release it. All right. There's no second chance for this person in your eyes or maybe it shouldn't be. OK, so thank you so much, Sagittarius. We have you deserve love. You are lovable. All right. 
So your cards are the Ten of Cups. Wow. The Seven of Swords. And the High Priestess. Okay, so I see this is somebody who wants a relationship with you, but they're not saying anything. Um, or this can be you. I feel like you have an energy of somebody who you're either with or who you want to be with that is malicious. This person uh, may be coming up as a liar or that's how you're viewing this person right now. And that's why you really don't want to say anything um, to this person or you're not opening up about what you really want with this person because you don't know if you can trust them. Um, Spirit is saying follow your intuition. You do deserve love, but make sure that it is love here and not lust, okay? Let's get one card from the Rebel deck for you guys. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards, okay? All right, thank you guys. All right, so next we have Capricorn. Wedding. This situation involves marriage, okay? So your cards are the Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the emperor, somebody is stepping up to either being or to take this relationship to the next level, okay? This can be somebody who you wanted to be in a relationship with for quite some time, but this person never really um, offered anything to you, or this person may have stood their ground until they were ready to actually commit. Well, I see this person now being ready to commit to you, okay? So, let's see what card we have from the Rebel deck. It says, you are the shit, Okay? And don't fucking forget it. All right, Capricorn, period. They're coming to you because you are the shit. Aquarius, your card is retreat. It is time for you to disconnect from the world. And your cards are the three of pentacles, the page of pentacles, and the fool. So somebody wants to give, um, give more to the situation or this person wants to to give to the situation or start something new with you all over again. Um, this is an energy of somebody wanting to offer on it or extend an olive branch to start something. This could be in regards to you starting another job and leaving one job. This can also be you wanting to leave someone for someone else. Um, somebody here is giving a bit more than the other one would. I feel like there is a sense of stability being had here. However, I do feel like um, you are going to have to disconnect from something else in order to have this, uh, equality in a relationship. All right. All right. So let's get one card for the rebel deck. It says, take a fucking trip. All right. Go see some shit, do some cool things. Talk to people who are cooler than you. So it's time to get out and about. Okay. Aquarius. All right. Pisces. Unrequited love. There's not enough love or chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going all right you guys so let's see what all this is about first card is the queen of swords so you think you already know this okay you're you're already aware that something is just not going the right way but i feel like somebody here showing up as the page of wands i mean page of swords is not being all that honest about how they feel i feel like this person is trying to trick you or dupe you into feeling or doing something that you do not want to do because you know it doesn't it's not right okay yeah the sun card it feels like this person is is coming from their ego they want you how they want you when they want you okay this person may be coming off a bit manipulative um because of how they want you what they want okay based off of how they feel they don't give it's not that they don't give a fuck about how you feel it's just it doesn't matter compared to how they feel and what they want somebody's coming up here is very selfish all right and i feel like you know that already so what you going to do about it pisces let's get one card from the rebel deck Ooh, it says you're looking like a shit show. You're a hot mess. Facts. Clean yourself up. We also have stop obsessing at the bottom of the deck here. So don't let it, um, what did they say? Don't let it take up too much space in your mental, all right? Thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.